Circumnavigating of Ireland, and today we're going up to uh, Malinhead, most northerly point of Ireland. Uh, some stunning scenery around there, great roads, uh, and then we'll head out towards the Mamor Gap, I think it is, and we'll see the Lenan Fort. Uh, then we go up over the Grop and we go see Fort Dunree. Um, so, it's a quite small route today, but it, uh, there's a lot in it. I'm sure I've forgotten half of the stuff that's going to be on today's route. No uh, Irish photo rally points today, that's not till tomorrow, when we cross over into Northern Ireland. But, uh, yeah, nice handy day today. We'll be back home by, what, say 6 o'clock-ish. I have a lot of this stuff already on drone, so I don't have to... Uh, <coughs> I don't need to get the drone out too often, I think maybe Fort Dunree if that's possible. Um, oh yeah, and the, uh, the ring fort, uh, green on of Eilic. You'll see that on the way back in, that's out over here I think somewhere, we'll see that on the way back in. I have that as well on, on uh, drone, but uh, yeah, so let's, let's get on with today and uh, I'll power down the camera and power it back up again when we get to the good stuff. Talk to you shortly. Oh, and I almost forgot. Uh, we're going to go see the Grabbers pub in a little little village of Moville before dropping back down, and then we're going to drive up and over that uh, mountain over there, well, hill. But uh, yeah, I've mentioned it once or twice. Grabbers, it's just a it's just a kind of comedy horror film uh, made in Ireland, set in a fictional island called Erin Island. But it's actually quite a good little movie. Uh, but the reason I like it a lot is because a lot of the, the locations are all around, shot around here. Places I know, like Sleeve League, there was a scene on Sleeve League. The ending scene is on the Memorial Gap, which we're going to go over today. And I've driven past Moville, but never into it. So I want to drop into it today because the vast majority of the film is filmed in the pub here, which I think is derelict now. Uh, but I just want to drop in and get an old photo uh, of the pub. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you've never seen it before, watch it. It's a good little movie. Uh, kind of like a B horror movie, you know. But uh, but yeah, it's a good good little flick. see the uh, pier and everything in the distance there so this is the grabbers uh, location for the pub the movie
seen it. Okay, I must have got my fat point wrong. That's flipping weird. Hmm. That is weird. I'm sure I saw it on Street View. Let's go a bit further up. Yeah, so I, I backtrack a little bit after not finding the grabber's bubble. Uh, because I didn't, uh, I wanted to take this uh, mountain road instead of the, uh, the coast, just to mix it up a little bit. Uh, and this will drop us up closer towards uh, Malinhead. Let's see what we see. Not too far out from Marlin Head up here now. And 
And the good thing is I already have footage of this on the drone so I don't have to I don't have to uh, take out the drone or do any of that. I have some nice footage of this already. Uh, so I can have my sandwich here. Just take a few minutes, get a rest from the bike and then we'll crack on out and around the coast. But I just remembered, I think I'm going out by Moville again tomorrow to catch that ferry. So tonight I'll have a, another rummage around on Google Maps. And see where the hell I went wrong trying to find the uh, grabber's bar. It's called, it was in the movie anyway, it was called Mars Tavern. going out that way but I just want to have I think there's a little cottage down here with a viewpoint out but after a view Alright, so this is a beautiful little spot. Uh, I ended up staying here. I actually had my lunch here. There's not a whole lot of room to turn around, so... And it's very steep as you come down that hill, but uh, it's a beautiful spot. Uh, Malinwell. Uh, this is called the Wee House of Malin. This area contains both a natural spring, Malinwell, located underneath a rock in front of the church ruins, also a natural cave. The wee house of Malin, since pagan times, locals have viewed these as holy places. The spring water was taught to cure disease. Legend says that a hermit once lived in the cave, and that no matter how many people entered, there was still room for more. I get tired. Uh, missionaries often establish churches to at a pagan sites to ease the transition to Christianity. That's good of them. The ruins of the church here date from the 1500s. The site still attracts pilgrims annually on August 15th for the Feast of the Assumption. Near this old church, a famous pilgrimage is performed by dropping a great number of beads while whispering prayers, but the ceremony finishes by a general ablution in the sea, male and female, all frisking and playing in the water, stark naked and washing off each other's sins. Yeah, I bet that's what they were washing off. <laughs> James McParland, Statistical Survey of County Donegal, 1902. Yeah, so come down here on what the... 15th of August. A bunch of naked people frolicking around in here, washing away their sins. <laughs> Right, tackle this corner now, it's gonna be a hoot. The wee house of Malin. That was the wee house of Malin. And we're only uh, a few minutes away from Malin Head itself. Yeah, so I got some nice drone footage there, I hope. Hopefully it turned out. So if it did, roll it there, Colette.
Yeah, so uh, beautiful spot, absolutely stunning little spot. Like I said, uh, it's really steep and uh, there's not a whole lot of room, particularly if there's cars parked there, not a whole lot of room to uh, turn around on. But it's, uh, it's a cracking little spot. Now Marlin Head, uh, I think I mentioned it before, it's the most northerly point in Ireland, but uh, recently, they, uh, if you remember when we were down in Kerry, we saw uh, Skellig Michael off in the distance, which is the uh, hideout for Luke Skywalker in the most recent uh, Star Wars movies. But they couldn't always get uh, access because it's a UNESCO site and bird sanctuary, so some of the shots were filmed up here in Malin Head and they, they built a full size uh, Millennium Falcon up here and apparently people from all over the place are coming to see it um, but uh, yeah, it's an epic epic location You can see the signal tower up at the top of it, very similar to the signal tower we did uh, one of the photo rally shots on yesterday. Uh, if, I, if I remember what we read about them, they were built to uh, signal uh, any uh, impending uh, naval activity or fleet coming from Napoleon's uh, navy at the time oh, I'm getting lucky with the weather now, touch wood Uh, Malin Head also has one of the air uh, signs uh, on the side uh, and they were put there during World War II I think yeah it was in two to let uh, to let planes know that uh, they were over neutral uh, a neutral state Uh, and what often happened, uh, and we'll cover it when I do the Wicklow, uh, some of the Wicklow things, is German um, planes would often deliberately land or crash here in Ireland to be captured, uh, to sit out the war. Because uh, as, a, as a neutral nation, what, they, what the Irish would do is they'd put them into uh, a prison up in the Wicklow Mountains. And... Uh, keep them there until the war was over so as a way to make sure that they didn't die and rather than go to war they'd crush land here get themselves captured
Yeah, so my battery died just as I'm coming up the hill there, but uh, what a spot. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, they used to, uh, the German um, pilots used to crash land here to liberty to get caught, but I don't think they realised that uh, the war would go on for so long. Thought they probably thought, ah, a few months in here, I'll be grand to go home. End up there for years. So I'll just leave the camera running for a little bit because we're going to go out by some absolutely stunning stuff here now. Uh, and it's worth the effort, particularly with the weather like it is today. 